How's it going everybody? My name is Carlos Salas. Welcome back to another video. Over the last few days, or actually last few weeks, I've been contacted by many more companies. Some of them are actually being scammed. Some of them are actually legit, like the Logitech mouse that I'm actually using uh, because I've got it pretty much for free uh, by Logitech. Thanks so much, Logitech. Um, yesterday I was contacted by a third party distributor of Corsair, which by the way turned out to be scam, which is okay, good. But um, they just, they wanted me to review uh, a K65 keyboard by Corsair, RGB Gaming Lux Edition, which was like the new version of the K65 RGB Gaming, just a, just the original one. And I did my research and I actually went over how much it actually changed. And I decided to put myself in the normal consumer shoes, the one that doesn't get the review units and doesn't get shit for free, you know? So I decided to pick up myself K65, but not the last, just the normal old edition, or old, uh, just the original edition of K65 RGB gaming. Why? Because I want to compare, is it actually worth spending, you know, like 50 or something more bucks on just an upgraded um, version of the K65? So without further ado, we're gonna get into the unboxing and in a few days, uh, I'm gonna have a review, a full review of this one and kind of like an answer to the actual question. Is it worth actually spending that much more on the new revamped version? All right, boys. So here is the keyboard itself and we got a pretty nifty knife. Dude, look, look at that thing. It's just huge. This is huge. Anyway. Then I open the seal. Got it. All right, let's see what's inside. By the way, this box is actually very... very I'm going to be comparing, uh, like, directly comparing this uh, this keyboard to my previous one, which is K70 Vengeance. Um, and the box on K70 was just freaking huge. And this one is it's actually pretty thin. So open opens the same as the case. Thank you, babe. Right, so here's the keyboard itself, right, right at the top. Let me just turn, get this cable out as well. So let me just explain something to you guys because this is actually what people, what a lot, a lot of people get wrong. This keyboard comes with two USBs, and if you if you're gonna put it through one USB, it has to be USB 3.0. If you have only 2.0 um, interface, you you will have to plug both. Why? Because the, basically the RGB keyboards need uh, more power than is supplied by, by a single um, 2.0 port. And what you will see is that when you start to press more buttons at the same time, when you have just one USB 2.0 plugged in, it's gonna start to lag and it's gonna start to basically not function as, um, as intended. Right, so here is the keyboard itself. Um, super, super awesome. Uh, braided cable just as in the previous ones as well. I'm gonna be comparing again in the full review. Um, here's just a sound clip. Um, very, very nice. Uh, th those are, by the way, red switches. I'm not sure if you can see that. There, there you go. Those are, those are red switches. Um, so they're supposed to be um, a little less clicky than you know than your normal blues. But um, but they actually like have less actuation, which means it's gonna take less time for you to actually press the button than any other switch there is. I think there are also like speed switches now, which are actually faster than this. But whatever. Let's see what else, what else is in the box. Let's put this keyboard to the side for a second. We've got a palm rest, which is awesome. One of the best things about Corsair is 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 when you actually get this palm rest. Palm rest is actually awesome. Uh, it lets you basically put your palm when you're using. The, the keyboard itself. So there you go, there's a palm rest. You also get some uh, some warranty guides. Uh, so you, I think you have to register the product and then I think there's a quick setup guide. Because we all know, you all you, you guys are here to see that beautiful RGB for the first time. And I actually want to sh show you guys like what it actually, what what's on it when you first, um, it's part of the unboxing, you know? Just, just kind of the first impression. The first impression is really heavy by the way. But again, I'm not going to be cutting too much, so I don't really care about that. So there we go. It's plugged into USB 3.0. That's what it first looks like. 
Um, it is basically all red besides your uh, your arrow keys here and your WASD keys, which are white. And it looks super good. Actually, look, the the, light, the lighting looks much better than the previous version, which is the, the Vengeance. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing a full review within, I don't know, within a week probably. And, um, and everything is going to come there. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap that like right thing. If you didn't, you know what to do. Just, just troll the shit out of me. And uh, I'll just see you guys in the next video.